Hello and welcome back to update number four. This is my in-scale layout and this is the very first scene that I have seen it. I have a little bit left to do before this scene is complete. But overall this is the very first scene that I've done. I've got two people so far that are working. I have done a little bit of the grass. I still want to add some static grass in here. I've got some barrels on a pallet there. I've got more barrels over by a storage area over here, the guard shack, the truck loading. I've also got a porta potty there for the truckers. Planning on adding a fence in, as well as taking and putting some storage tanks in. More than what I've already got. I've also went in and weathered the ballast here. Uh, I've got a little bit of cleanup to do. I've been doing some scenery work. Um, also went in and I built this little guy earlier this month and that is handmade. I like the way that turned out. Got it weathered up a little bit. But I decided to try to, my hand at making my own track bumpers and they are very easy to make guys. Just do a little research, look at the pictures and see what that looks like. I've also got the tanks to where they can be loaded. And if you notice, those oil spots that I've got line up right where the valves would be. So they've just slowly leaked over the years is what I'm going with. I may wind up cutting that back just a little bit so it's not as much oil on the tracks. But I kind of like the effect. Like I said, I will be putting a fence in around. This also comes in right near where the tunnel portal is going to be between these two pieces of foam here. This is going to be the natural tunnel that I was telling you guys about last month. I want to go ahead and make an apology. I said that was in located in Kentucky. That is actually located in Virginia. So I do apologize on that. That was my bad. I've also been working with the rock work coming up to the natural tunnel. Got a little bit more to do there. Just trying to make sure that it all blends, that I've got the track at the right height. And another thing that I'm working on is also adding on to the top deck here. I want to make sure that the double main line comes in and that I've got my switches positioned just enough to where I can actually hook the tortoise machines up to it, run them to the toggle switches on my panels, and be good there. I will have a building in that corner that will be switched. It is going to be a scrapyard. I've already started the plans on that. I'm going to also be adding two more buildings on this end on the top is what I'm hoping. So with that being the case, just got to make sure that those switches line up so that they're not taken and interfered with the tracks below so that everything's remotely operated. With that being said, I've also started laying the roadbed down and I've got a road semi made on there. That will be changing just a little bit, not too much. Planning on putting a crossing guard in here uh, for the railroad track crossings. So I'm hoping to have that operational. We'll see how that goes. That'll be a new project for myself that I've never done. And also, another project that I've worked on this month, not much to brag about, but enough, is this highway overcross. It's not fully done yet. I am still doing the bridge abutments for it. And then I've got to do the expansion joints on it. I'm thinking about putting sidewalks down it. But it is a two-part piece. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take that apart. And I've worked on this. I've still got a little bit more to do with it. But for the most part, this is going to be pretty well done like that. And I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. That is actually just a couple pieces of wood thrown together as well as a straw for the beams in the center. 
and then just paint it with some concrete and weathered up with some chalking. So pretty glad the way that turned out. As I previously stated, I've been down with a shoulder injury. That's going to be impeding progress a little bit. So right now I'm pretty much doing everything one-handedly. So until I can get back to 100%, progress will probably be very slow. But I'm hoping that I will be able to come back next month on the next update and have this scene done. Joined all the way to the top, the bridge abutments put in, bridge weathered in, installed, along with this one and hopefully this business up here. Now one of the other things that I did this month is the pre-existing track, which is under tape right here, going around down into the peninsula. Every bit of trackage on the peninsula is actually weathered on the sides. So the webbing of the rail is actually weathered on the inside, outside, throughout all the turnouts, all the way around. I apologize for the mess that I've got on the peninsula there, but shoulder was hurting a little bit while I'm doing this video, so didn't ha didn't feel like trying to one arm clean it and take two or three hours to do so, so. One of the other projects, since I am down a shoulder, is I'm thinking about going ahead and trying to ballast the rest of this track, at least on the peninsula. And I should be able to do that one-handedly, so we'll see how that goes, see how I feel with it. But hopefully, by the end of the next video, I'll have a second scene going along, hopefully have some storage tanks in here, I'm going to try my hand at chain link fence. I don't know how that's going to turn out. I've seen plenty of stuff on it. So if you've got any comments, please drop them below. Any helps or tutorials that you want to link to me would be greatly appreciated. And since this is just less than two weeks away from Thanksgiving, I'm going to sign off by saying Happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys have safe travels wherever you may be going. So... Until next time, happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you soon. Bye.